Hi, I'm Kurt Hoffbeck, field agronomist with DuPont Pioneer. Today I'm standing in front of a field with a spider mite infestation, and I'm going to show you scouting techniques, symptoms of injury, as well as thresholds. Follow me into this field. Today we're in a field of spider mites in soybeans. You can see the severe injury that as a result of the mites feeding on the soybean plants. I want to show you some of the damage caused by the mites. You get this uh, stippling browning effect, starts in the lower canopy and works up. Mites have worked on this uh, field for quite some time to the point where the lower canopy's leaves have already started to drop off. Thresholds are normally when spider mite stippling, uh, that speckling on the leaves, starts to enter the one third to middle portion of the canopy. Here we are well beyond that stage. I'll zoom in on some of the uh, effects of the stippling that the spider mites cause. Spider mite flare-ups usually occur under hot, dry conditions. Best way to do to confirm if you have mites is put down a white piece of paper in the row, shake the canopy on top of the paper real well. Under close inspection, what you will find are little, almost dust-like particles that are brown to red, orange in nature. And in this case, you can see them crawling all over this white piece of paper. Like I say, they're about the size of dust particles and almost have more of an orange-brown tinge to them. Common treatment is a pint of organophosphate such as Lorsban, and that'll give a fast-acting kill. If you do spray a pyrethroid for soybean aphids, it is not uncommon for the uh, other insects within the soybeans to be killed off and offer no competition to the mites. So mites often flare after a application of a pyrethroid or, or commonly used product for uh, soybean aphids. So get in the habit of scouting for spider mites seven days after your soybean aphids uh, application and see if uh, the mites have flared and then come back with a fast-acting organophosphate product.